Thea? Please tell me you're here. There you are. Ready to go? I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You are not alone. Can we go now? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. Aye. Ears open. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. Oh, is he there? This will only take a moment. See? Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. The incarnate is hidden away here. The stains bar the path. Have I mentioned having no arm of you? Where are you? You know, you witch. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her. She draws well. Well, can we draw this to a close? We need to talk to Kate. How can she find anything in this mess? We're wasting time. Let's go. Uh, manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. These stains block the way through. Strange how I barely knew Ceridian, yet feel like I've lost someone deeply important. Shall we dance then? You're wasting your time on this one. I think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. Get to this one. 
This one's protected. I can help. You're wasting your time on this one. If the spirit chases were working, we wouldn't have spectres. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. Use the practice. Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. Dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? Can you feel the tension? Folk here are wound tight. What are you doing here? I don't believe it. You're back. Why? Good day to you too, thick skin. How do things stand since last I saw you? Would it please you to hear all is well and you are the author of it? Well, all is not well, and yes, you are the author of it. Kate is gone. Where? Why? We had an argument. Harsh words were spoken. She left for the woods. I would have you bring her back. 
I don't have time to go chasing after her. What makes you think I do? You will do me this favour. After all, the situation is at least in part your fault. Surely she'll cool off and come round. Then you can talk things out. What's there to talk about? Just bring her back. We've work to do. Perfect. One sister won't stay and talk, the other won't sit and listen. She's probably gone to the hunting lodge she likes to spend time in, near the road to Boston. Find her, bring her to her senses, then send her back here. Send her home. Do you know anything about Kate and a certain Grace? <sighs> That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Why do you ask? I found a letter, an old one, addressed to Grace, but mentioning Kate. It helped to know who she is. I can't help you, and if I could help you, I wouldn't. After all that has happened, Kate's tale is hers to tell, and hers alone. But you admit you knew her, Grace. I'm guessing she's from New Eden. Ask Kate, for I'll say not. All right, then. One last question. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? Seeker, you say? Now this I can answer. I've never heard that name in my whole life. Well then, I'll be leaving. Kate, even listen to me. Let's talk to her and find out. Haunted house. Shall we? Lady. Oh, Mr. McGrath. <laughs> you are a monster. Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Think nothing of it. How do you know my name? Who doesn't? You slayed the beast, by God's grace. I admit I thought you a charlatan. I told the newsmiths they get nothing for their money. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher, by the way. I'm what passes around here for a physician. Red McCraith, banisher of ghosts and slayer of the terrible beast. How may I help you? I need no help. I just scared myself. These days I'm afraid of my own shadow. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought it was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? She is haunted, clear as day. It's not ridiculous, no. If you're haunted, I might be able to help you. I'm not haunted. I just took fright is all. But if you really want to help... When I ran, I dropped my bag. It has my medical equipment and supplies. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. A shame to lose them. I'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you. If you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. You are such a good man. Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. He forgot Beetlehead. Ah! 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 Ah!
bloody mongrel. Here in the crevice, Evelyn Fitcher's lost bag. How did she manage to drop it down there? What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. serious than thick skin knew. Maybe there's still time, if we make for the bridge to Boston. Good day to you, sir. I'm Red McGraith. I'm the Banisher. You ass. No dust. Oh, if it was here, took all the guns. You'll have to make do with what you've got. From the invisible.
I take the heart, you take the roots. How I like it. A camp. Recent. Kate's maybe. Wolf pack. No blood though. She did drop her notebook. She writes really well. There's emotion in every word. I'm jealous. Writing's good when you struggle to express your feelings. Red McWraith, you express altogether too many feelings already. Aye, you like that about me. Right, let's find Kate and get her talking. She's here. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Thickskin said I might find you here when she sent me looking. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious, I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps, into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. I found your journal, Kate. Stop lying to yourself. How dare you? I dare, because you care. Come on, say it. Get it out. I'm afraid to. It will be all right. I promise. I don't want to care. I don't want to care for them. I don't want to care for thick skin. Aye, but you do. And you can. 
As long as you care for yourself, first of all, so... What's it to be? I'll go. When I'm ready, I'll return. But she will step down. Further, and you may tell her this, I do not care to keep her secret. Not no more. All right. I'll tell her it. All of it. Things look better here. Helen is working out. Spectral traces. Something's up with Helen. Banishes. Excuse the clatter. I've seen worse. Good day to you, Helen. I did not count on seeing you two again. I take it you've returned for a reason. What can you tell me about a young woman by the name of Grace? It seems you already know some of the story. It was a long time ago, but I'll do my best to fill in the gaps. What happened to her? As I heard it told, one day Grace just wasn't there anymore. How was their relationship? 
I believe it was Stormy, as you'd expect between a commander and his disobedient daughter. I do think he loved her, but as far as anyone ever saw, he never shed a single tear for her. Later, after he exiled her, did the captain try to find his daughter? Not to my knowledge. He did not set off in search of her, nor did he send men. At the time, I thought it strange. Still do. I'll never understand how a man could reject his only daughter. And that, my inquisitive banisher friends, is all I know about the matter. Things have been feverish round here, to say the least. Are you bearing up? As well as can be expected. How well is that exactly? People are barely scratching by up here in this godforsaken fort, dangling out over the edge of the world. I fight so the stockade stays standing. The ship is wrecking, but I was called to be captain. I hold the wheel. So yes, Banisher, I am bearing up as well as can be expected. You miss Sebastian. Every waking moment. Count your blessings, Banisher, for they are fleeting. Could his husk still be present? It will be drawn to you. No, it could not. Something is present. Something weighs on you. I'm busy, Banishers. Busy means tired, that's all. We'll look into your spectral stones. If you feel the need, then sure. Suit yourself. Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here? No. Still kind of see a damn thing. I'll lend you my eyes if you like.
Follow my voice. be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Why the fall from grace? That's not funny, and neither is this. Aye, fair enough. Fine wardrobe for a youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her, aye. Deborah knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. Seeker drew this. Now we know. She's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation. And we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Uh, sure.
Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. It's as if you can't wait to leave. It's not like that. It's complicated. Aye, all right. I believe you. No governor, no meeting house, and it seems no faith. What a pleasant surprise. I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Build bridges, say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. They repent, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We found a page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognise it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual? To another friend. It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know, but we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. 
Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she... Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend, your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh my... What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Araloo. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park. Comparatively speaking. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we find her, we'll be glad to tell her. to me. I'm all back. I haunt you as a ghost, and you act as though that's normal. I'm dead, and I'm not all right. I'm not all right at all, but you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry, and it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know, but it still felt that way.
The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. A little spectral spring cleaning. The best kind of cleaning. You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. I rely on you. Your presence reassures me. I dread your absence. I barely bring myself to think about it. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I just try to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. Standing by. Our book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. I think a way to pass could be near.
this looks like limey stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. First things first, Red.
Did you see that? Let's follow it. They're feeding off their own rage. Think you could take on a ghost? For help if you need it. Go Up there. To me. Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let, Let the veil, the veil of, unknowing of unknowing be lifted. Be lifted. Let, Let us see through, through the eyes of Grace Pennington. Meridian? You're surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time, and suddenly you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. I don't think you have it all figured out. You're still banishers, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter. Still, can I see the family resemblance? In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. Does it matter now? The captain is no more, and... Till the end, so was his daughter. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead. And Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt. But it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. 
No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the Void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. They've seen better days. As have we all. What's that? That is not your concern. I like your new place a lot better than the old one. I was a different person then. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor, and more. I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine. Ready to walk through it if you are. Wait. This is it, isn't it? This is it. You always think you have more time. And suddenly, you don't. Do you ever wonder how things would have gone if we'd never come here? Never? Do you? Sometimes. I think about our last morning in Oporto. 
of our tiny room overlooking the fish market. A horrendously loud fish market. He slept soundly in my arms as I lay listening to the clamour. I watched those curtains blow through the window for hours. And so it felt. I think of that moment often. That instant suspended in time. Before Charles's letter found us. We were glad to hear from our friend. And buoyed by a later success. The ghost blew up the Duke's wine cellar. But we got the job done. Ah. <laughs> I had a good life. We had a good life. I'm going to miss you so very much. There's much to do between here and goodbye. Let's go do it. Thank you. For standing by my side through it all. For everything. Into the fray then. Always. What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. You chose the schoolhouse too. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? I like your doll. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch, and she is running away from the Spanish soldiers. She has a home, but he died. He was an old friend. <laughs> Patience, Antea. You know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Ugh. I can't stand anymore. That's unfit for us to cross. Startled by a wisp in a. <laughs> I think your mother is jealous of you. I'm better than she was a mage. Of course she is. We could train in secret. Practice when she's not looking. These are memories from my childhood. But why here? This isn't over yet. Ready and waiting.
Over there, a passageway. The paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not... It's just us here, and they are... Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past, the memories are manifesting. Or the other way around. Change tack. childhood friend is here. What passed for my friend. Right. We leave now. You explain later. Mama? Mama! It's just the game. What? What's going on? Go on. Let the fire melt your shackles. Careful, Red. It's close. us to feel powerless. <laughs> I'll feast on your soul. You won once. Never again. Never again. Come and play, Antea. Come and play. You will never leave this place. You can't go round the fire. You must go through. All you can there. All alone. No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor little Antea. Gifted and talented. Constricted. Bound. Abandoned. Go to hell. Look at you dead, clinging to some pitiful soul in a hopeless search for meaning. Thank you, Rory McVeigh, for
for bringing her to me. This thing was never human, Red. Don't indulge it. You'll soon be mine. Your voice, your soul, everything. Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. At last you visit Calendre, your bestest friend. We are not friends, and your name is not Calendre. <laughs> Perhaps I should name myself by what called me to you. Your weariness? Your solitude? Your arrogance? For years, I would not shoulder the weight of what I did. I would not face my regrets. I would not wear my guilt. My home burned to the ground. My face was marked forever. When I look in the mirror, I think of you. I fled the family I'd nearly killed. I buried my true feelings in hate for you. No more. I loved you once. You were my sister. You are my soul. I don't care what you really are. To me, you are manipulation and lies and nothing else. If the void birthed you, then I pity you. I forgive Calendre for being nothing but a mirror. And I forgive myself for not knowing better. And you, Rory McBeth? Can you forgive her? for leaving you alone and unloved and haunted only by her memory. The souls we banish end up in the void. I know this now. I pity them. I pity you. Your pity means nothing to me, mortal. You are nothing. How convenient then that I don't need you to give myself closure. Mantea, Mantea. Such a clever girl. So good with words of power. Is that how you seduced your little pet here? Hmm? <laughs> My name is Nasuko, and I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Come, stay a while, stay forever. I... Focus on the sorrow, then we can end this. Come back here, demon. We've a game to end. Look to me!
Running away, are we? As stubborn as you are weak, you've no change. You are going to pay for this. Come back here, demon. We've a game to end. I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. Onwards, let's get this over with. Is the entire town lost to Ivy? Her influence must still be strong. But, as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. We really had no idea what we were walking into. If I had taken the threat seriously, then you might be alive. All that matters now is that you give me my assent.
Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. a lecture on the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. We were so in love. We are all in love. With no condition. To the very end. Huh. I see a light. How? Huh? Esther still be here. Oh, there? Anybody home? visits from time to time. That's not Charles. Charlie had his ascent. Do you remember? Oh yes, I remember. It's all very foggy. Do we ever mend the wounds of true love lost? Esther, do you know me? And Taya? Yes. I know you. You come to Red as Charles comes to me. How very good of you. Dearest Esther, I died. I am a ghost. You know, I'd have liked to join your games. You three. Chasing ghosts and whatnot. I learn fast. 
but not today. Today feels like a dream. Goodbye, Hester. Perhaps we'll meet again. Perhaps we shall. It's so very pleasant to speak to new old friends. From time to time. To time. Breaks my heart to see her this way. Enough suffering. Let's set you even free. Get lost, won't you? After this, we should set sail, somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. What shall I say to you when I give you your assent? I don't know. All ghosts linger for a reason. It is time. You still have something to say to me, don't you? I told you to be cautious, yet you walked straight into her trap. This was my greatest. This is an odd kind of homecoming. Tis strange to be back. It's strange to sleep near the place where you died. Still, rest you should. You'll need it. I don't know that I can. Is it because of what we talked of earlier? What will I say to you when you go? Can I really give you your assent? When the moment comes, you'll know what to say. I'll be the banisher, bringing an ending to his own haunting case. How does that work? The same as any other. You'll undo the tie. Don't worry. I won't resist. And the reason your ghost lingers is resentment. I'm right, aren't I? That night in this room, I told you to be careful. I worried you'd act rashly and I told you not to. I thought you'd gone to the meeting house without me. I died to save you. The anger lingers. Part of me resents you yet. For my pain and my fear. For my suffering. For my dying, I resent you. Antea, I am truly sorry. I know you are. You've done your best to put things right. But I did die. And in a few short hours, you will have to let me go.
That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Watch out! Spectre possession! The heart's yours. The roots are mine. I take the heart, you take the root. Your garden was fancy, my own garden. No, we Trust don't me. suffer. You don't we want suffer. A my friends, I have disturbing news. Among us walks the witch. Is that not so, Deborah Comenius? Lock her up. No, no, tis not true. I am no witch. So that's how it all began. Aye, with ordinary evil from the hearts of fearful men. Deborah Comenius, this court finds you guilty of the devil's work. Guided by God's mercy, I pass sentence on the witch. Pain forte dieu. Confess and name your accomplices, or die for your sins. I have nothing to confess. How could they have let this happen? Not a soul stood or spoke for her.
There's no justice here. It's a travesty. Stand for you. Your coven has betrayed you. Name them, and you shall live. I am no witch. You know this, all of you. Do not turn away from me. You must release me. You must. Will no one speak for me? Anyone? Please help me. Help me. I feel her distress, her rising terror, her dark despair. She suffered enough, and so have we. Here, my body, my flesh displayed like a trophy. More like bait. So, the circle is complete. Return to the beginning, or is it the beginning of your return? A paradox. How clever. How it pleases you to play with time. I do not play. Deborah, we know what happened to you. We know what they did to you. What they did? What they do? I shatter yet. We're not here to hurt you. You have my body and I want it back. That's all. Help us. Because we can help you. No, you cannot. Standing by. Enough. You are me. Yet you oppose me. They murdered us.
Make them pay. No. They do not deserve our rage, not these two. All deserve our wrath. They crushed the breath from us. You know this. You asked for this. It's over. You have been heard. The truth is out. No! Come back! Feed upon the pain! The treachery! The outrage! No more. It hurts. Behold my wrath! Flung into a cage! and wait. Enough pain now. There must be a reckoning. The pain may end right now. The reckoning is here. Spare me your compassion, for it comes far too late. Who are you? I am retribution. A word. An idea. But who are you? I am her fury. No longer. I am their nightmare! You were.
You believe you've won. It will not be so easy. For I will end your dreams. Is that an end to it? Yes. If you want it to be. Are you sure? In your hand you weigh my death, the last stone laid upon my broken body. I'm so very sorry. Will you leave? Are you ready? I have lingered so very long. Where now will I go? I don't know. A better place, I believe. A quiet place. Quiet is good. Deborah Comenius, mere words can ill describe your suffering. And if they could, I'd not utter them now. Enough wrong has been done you. Your tale is told, and we thank you for it. You are hurt, and free to go. Hey, I'm right here. Aye, you are. This is unfair. Yet here we are. What am I going to do? I said I had died, not you. Either way, we must part. I love you so. <laughs> you were the love of my life. Stay. Just a little longer. You promised you'd let me go. Maybe we could just... No! Stay. Please. Don't do this. I can't stay, you know I can't. My one and only love. Thank you. Fear.
I wish I could tell you that time healed, but that would be a lie. There are already too many lies to this tale. New Eden never recovered. Neither did Ruri Macraith. Guilt does not always lessen with time. Some wounds never close. Some scars remain tender. But who knows? Perhaps someday, a grey-haired Scot may sail to Cuba and tell the Duarte family of their daughter's death and of her greatness. Perhaps he may even admit that he misses her and will miss her his whole life long.